Hi, everybody. My name is Kevin. Uh, I work at a company here in Kentucky uh, and uh, want to talk to you today uh, about businesses. And having a good job is so important. It gives you a chance to, to do something that you like um, and something that you know how to do. That also helps to make sure that we get a paycheck so we can buy the things we need, pay our bills, uh, and do the things that you want. And today we have a friend that wants to talk to us, uh, uh, Michael Rodenberg, and he's going to tell us about our, his job and, and what they do. Hi, Michael. How are you? Hi, Kevin. Thanks for inviting me to come talk with you today. Oh, it's, it's great. Could you tell us a little bit about your company and what you do and what your job is there? Great. So, um, like Kevin said, my name's Michael and I am the CEO, which means basically I'm, well, I'm kind of the president. So if you look at an organization, I'm the guy that kind of runs the company. Um, and we make parts for automobiles. One of the parts we make is on the outside of the vehicle, outside of the car, it's the mirrors. So if you walk around your car and you can see the mirror where you can see your reflection in, and if you, your mom and dad, or they're driving the car, your grandparents or whoever's driving the car, they're always looking on the outside. Those are the things that we make at our company. That's great, Michael, and, and very important. And your company is big and it has, it sells and makes things for car, car companies around the world, doesn't it? It does, it does. In fact, if you see maybe a Toyota or a Nissan or a Honda, uh, it's, it's possible that those mirrors were made right here in Campbellsville, Kentucky. I bet some of the, the young people watching this show uh, actually have a car that may have the mirrors that you made. Exactly, exactly. Wow. They probably do. Michael, what's your favorite thing to do uh, or what's the favorite thing about your job? You know, my favorite thing about my job is getting to work with people. I love getting to work with people, uh, getting to talk with them getting to hear their ideas, uh, just getting to just to know people. That's one of my, I just love doing that. Michael, if you had to tell somebody what was the most important things that they should do uh, to prepare, to learn the type of things they need to study to get a job in your business, what would it be? You know, I think back to, to my days in elementary school and, and it's so much different now than it was then. Uh, you know, you guys are learning incredible things. You're, you're learning about engineering and math and science in a way that we never did. And so I, I think, you know, to work in our company, that it's important to, to look at some of those things, uh, you know, building and designing and being creative, uh, you know, whether you're great at, at maybe, you know, using your crayons and, and creating a great picture or you're, using some of those uh, building toys you have, that's the kind of thing that years down the road, we're gonna want that type of uh, skill set. And Michael, the people in your company, do they work together a lot? Is it important that, uh, that they be able to work as a team? Exactly, yeah, we, we have to. So we have people that do all kinds of different jobs and um, it's kind of like in the classroom. You know, the, a lot of times, you're put at a table, a round table, and, and you're given a project by your teacher and everybody has to work together. It's no different in business. We have to do that all the time. And, and sometimes it's good to have different ideas, isn't it? You, you need to be able to share those ideas because one person might be good doing a certain task, and, but they can't do the other task. And that's why working as a team can be important. Exactly. You know, I, I think about um, if, you're, if you're building with some of these um, I guess kind of like Legos or something like that. If everybody in the group only has a yellow Lego and we, and we, and we only have that to build with, then we're just going to have one little yellow piece once it's folded together. But if everybody in the group has different colored Legos and different size Legos and has a different idea on how to put those together, you're going to come up with something really amazing. And I think that's kind of what, what it's like here. Uh, working as a team and having different ideas. And, and I have to bet that showing up is very important, isn't it? You have to be there, you've got to show up every day and show up on time. Are those things important? Exactly. I mean, it's it's just like, you know, going to school. You know, what happens if we if we don't go to school on time? We, we get a tardy. If we're, if we're not in class, we miss out on the assignment and then we have to come back and do it the next day. Or if our team 
if all our classmates did a project and we miss out on it, then sometimes we just miss out. And so it's important to be there every day and, and, to, and to be there on time. Michael, I can tell you really like your job and, and you probably have a lot of things that you like, but what's the most fun thing you get to do in your company? Wow, the most fun thing I get to do. You know what guys, my company is based all over the world. And so my favorite thing to do is fly in airplanes. And I've been able to fly to so many different countries and see so many different things. I would have to say, Kevin, that's my favorite thing to do. Wow. Well, Michael, thank you so much. Is there anything else you want to share with the, the boys and girls today about what your job involves or any encouragement you'd want to give them? You know, I would just say this, is that take advantage of every day. You know, we life is amazing and we get to do so many things. And if we're able to learn something new every day, the next day is going to be even that much better. So that would be my advice to all of you. And I just hope you guys just continue to learn and, and have fun every day. So Michael, if, if uh, the students want to learn more about your company or about businesses uh, like yours, what would you recommend they do? You know, I wish all the young people knew about a program called Bust the Business. And this is a chance for schools to take students to come and see local businesses. So if you, any of you kids want to go see a business, tell your teacher, say, isn't there a program called Bust a Business? Isn't there an opportunity for us to go see businesses in our community? And let your teachers know, let your principal know, because if that's what you want to do, we can sure figure out a way to make that happen for you. That's great. Michael, thank you again. We really appreciate you sharing with us. And it's been really fascinating to learn where these mirrors come from and the people that make it. So thanks for sharing with us. Thanks, Kevin. I appreciate it very much. Have a great day. Thanks. You too.